Well, I wasn't planning on filming a video today, but I'm putting a front splitter on the Forester because I was looking at some photos and it bothers me because I feel like front end's raised up right now because I was mocking it up. Front end's like super short, rear end's got the lip kit and stuff. The car looks like a mullet. It bothers me, okay? So we have this front splitter, which used to be on my 2006 WRX wagon and it was too long. It would hit the tires. It's wide perfectly too long. So as you can see, I already cut on both sides, already mocked it up. It fits, we just gotta paint it. I'm not really worried about this. I mean, this thing is so trashed. I mean, look, this splitter is trashed because it's fiberglass. So I don't care about it. We're gonna rattle can it, see if we can get it to look good. Oh yeah, here's how much we trimmed off on each side. I just scotch brighted and cleaned it off. We're gonna set it on these buckets and paint it real quick. Just a quick dust coat. There is a second coat done. And while that's drying, we're gonna grab these. We're gonna take the bumper off real quick. So that way we can get it ready to put the splitter on. All right, I think that's a good amount of coats. What's really cool is the primer black actually hides a lot of the, I mean, obviously you can't hide stuff like that or like, oh, totally just scratched that with my nail. I'll fix that real quick. You obviously can't hide huge stuff, but the little stuff in there is all hidden now, which is kind of cool. But okay, I'm gonna fix that and then we're gonna throw it on the car. Oh, we have it mounted. That looks so good. If you're curious how I mounted it, we have some really big screws all the way through and a nut and bolt somewhere under here. I don't know where I put that nut and bolt. It's on this side. You can kind of see it in there. We have a nut and bolt as well. They all have really big washers on them too, so should be fine. Also looks like we just need to trim one of the sides up a bit. I know you might be thinking it's not straight or something, but like it's straight. It looks perfect. So we just got to trim a little bit back there. I think the bumper's probably not cut perfectly, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit on that side. Okay, we have the bumper all put back on. We're gonna get the full effect. We're gonna shut this. Come on. Always third time, third try. Now, there it is. Okay. All right, come on down. Please touch the ground. I want the splitter to lay on the ground. Oh. Okay, Just make sure it's all the way down. We're not showing you yet. That's some good footman right there. All right. Yo. It touches. Well, that is exactly what I was going for. So that is absolutely perfect. Get a quick side profile. That is so freaking good. That is just exactly what the car needed. Okay, now, as you probably don't know, I bought a tin strip and I bought the wrong size. So it wasn't long enough. And that's why there's no tin strip on the car. So I have this extra green vinyl that's perfectly paint matched to the car. So I think we're gonna pull off the access port face and try to wrap the access port face green to match Granda. I think that'll be sick. This port faces, if you don't know, there's a tab on the bottom right there. Grab it. Pop that off. Now we just got the face. I'm just gonna cut some of this out in the shape of it so we don't use all of it and wrap it. Those of you who don't know, I used to wrap cars for a living. Interesting.
a bit rusty, but worked out well. We'll see how this fits on here now. Like a glove. Fit on there perfectly. Red. And now, back in the car we go. I should probably... Yep, that is locked. Uh, Forrester key. I won't plug that in because it's going to turn on, but there you go. That's cool. It's a little different. I like it. Well, hello. It is Max from the future. It's loud in here. So there was a little predicament. We So this car hasn't made over like seven or eight pounds of boost since I started figuring everything out. And I, I knew I had a boost leak or something somewhere. And I finally figured out where it was. And I'm going to show you a video of what happened before. There's a uh, studs on the up pipe or the turbo mounts to the up pipe before it goes to the down pipe through the rest of the exhaust. I was going in there blind when I was putting the turbo on originally. And I guess I missed that stud and put the nut on the stud just to the right of that, which is the bracket for the up pipe. And that's the same thread pitch and everything. And so there was double stacked nuts and on one stud and then the stud on the up pipe that needed a nut, it had no nut and it was throwing exhaust gas out of it. So I'll click that right, I'll, I'll input that right here. Idiot! <laughs> now that that is now fixed, we ended up having to get a new um, exhaust gasket. Oh, I got a ton of fans. We ended up having to get a new downpipe gasket from the downpipe to the turbo. And freaking O'Reilly's charged me $43 for a little MOS gasket that I could have bought for $1.60 on Amazon, but I needed it right now. So that sucks. Markup, right? And so now everything's put together, all fixed. It doesn't seem to be leaking anymore. So now we're gonna go for a drive and see if we're making more boosts than seven or eight PSI because this car should make like 18 PSI. So far, I can tell that the car is spooling a lot better. You can actually hear the turbo a lot better than instead of the obvious exhaust leak that we had there. Um, you can actually hear the turbo spool like a Garrett turbo now because that's what it was supposed to sound like. I don't know if you can hear it on camera. It sounds crazy now. Okay, now keep in mind that we're still breaking the car in and we can't give her the beans. I just need to make sure that um, doing that fixed my problem of under boosting. So we'll just uh, kind of roll into it a little bit. We can't go too high in the RPMs. I just want to make sure it goes over 78 pounds of boost. So we'll see. Ah, it didn't really look like it was going to. Hold on, let's see. Straight, someone pulling out in front of me. Okay. Nope. Well, that didn't fix it. So, I mean, the car does seem to be running better, but I think I have a problem elsewhere, possibly. Maybe the wastegate or something is bad. So, that's where, uh, I actually already filmed an outro for this video, so cut back to past Max, and he's gonna end the video. It's just gonna be another short ground of vlog for today. I still have, I'm still waiting for parts to come in. Um, since the last one that you guys watched of me talking about I have more parts coming in. Um, actually, the two things that I just did today are just stuff I had in my garage and decided to do. But I got notification of the part that I was worrying about not getting here in time for Scrape Fest. It was already shipped and should be here in time. I actually might get it in the next day or two, so I'm stoked about that. Let me know what you guys think about the front splitter and the matched uh, access port cover. Peace out, guys. Thank you for watching.